other day I ran across this capacitor and since it uh, was already kind of exploded out I want to give you a opportunity to see what's inside a capacitor and what makes up a air conditioning capacitor. Um, the lid of this has already been destroyed and the chemicals inside may be a little corrosive so I'm not going to hold it with my hands but let's pull see what we can do to pull this out. <clears throat> This is what it would look like under normal conditions down here at the bottom and then up here at the top. This capacitor has shorted out internally which has melted everything inside it. Um, a winding that is connected to uh, each of these leads here and one lead being the common the other two being two different windings around this capacitor. Okay, I've got some gloves. Not the best, but they're due for the moment. What we're going to look at here is that this um, particular lead here runs down to the bottom, which is just your metal plate. And then, let me see if I can get to the other side of this but it doesn't appear I'm going to be able to but basically what we've got is some there's a metal plate here at the bottom and then what this base part is is actually a, a uh, like a piece of foil in a sense and it's just wrapped and wrapped and wrapped I don't know if you can see it but it's also got in between the wrappings a layer of insulating material so that the wrappings don't touch themselves um, and uh, it just uh, holds an electric charge much like a magnet with the two plates side by side with the piece of plastic in between the two plates or in this case a, like a sheet of tin or metal and um, in this case the insulating material between the plates has failed and the huge current that these things hold basically got hot enough to melt all the insulating layers inside this capacitor <coughs> so that it just completely deformed so if you ever see a capacitor that is mechanically deformed in its shape it's exploded or rounded this is what the inside of that probably looks like